And um, I think that the human factor piece that, that really did um, uh, the industrial designers the most uh, notoriety, I think, it was the 453. Um, because we're, of course, around here, and I don't know where you people were, uh, was that the, uh, uh, the folks at IBM were putting together their own instrument because that was the biggest of the sellers. They, it was a, had to have for IBM to do business. And, um, uh, and so people around here were, were worried about it, uh, really worried about it. And the effort that was put into developing the 453 and um, uh, the, uh, the guys that worked on it, um, and that was the first instrument of that caliber that the industrial designers really were fully engrossed in it. And um, uh, Lang Hedrick and uh, Keith, um, uh, I'm trying to think of his last name, was a marketing manager. They took that 453, just like we see it out here, uh, back on the airplane, back to IBM and Poughkeepsie. Uh, to present it, to, uh, and there was a lot of build-up to this. Uh, and uh, they said, "We think we've got an uh, instrument that, uh, that that maybe will be useful to you." And they went in with this thing, and uh, the IBM folks said, "Okay, um, you two guys sit out here in the lobby, give us the instrument. Well, we've got instruction man. No, we don't want your man. Give us the instrument if we can't figure out how to use it." by sitting and looking at it, we don't want it. And out they went. And about two and a half hours later, they came back out and uh, essentially said, could we place an order for 70,000 of these? 70,000? <laughs> it, it, just, it just blew them away. Right. Okay. Whatever the number was. That didn't make oh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Wow, a huge number anyway. Yeah. Uh, and that was... Uh, you know, not only good, good news for Tektronics, uh, that put the industrial designers on the map, because Lang, Lang Hedrick said, uh, he just said quietly, you know, we will never do another instrument through engineering without having you guys totally involved in it, and um, uh, so it was a, it was a big winner for, uh, for my department, my guys, and um, uh, a lot of the the. Uh, um, I call reference to the, the, the gear shift knobs on the front of our instruments. You set the, the sweep rate and you got delayed sweep and you pull the knob out. You set it one place and you pull the knob out and you set it another. Those kind of things uh, have design patents on them. And up until just a few years ago, every one of those design patents were held by an industrial designer at Tektronix. And it was a, the kind of thing that uh, uh, that I, you know, stressed with my guys that if you're going to do this work, you know, the, the appearance of the thing is one thing, uh, but the operation is that uh, that's really the guts of it, and it's got to have the hold uh, of that uh, if, if it's really going to really going to work. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they did the guys, uh, uh, and some of that uh, when you get into the logic analyzers and some of the rest of it, it's pretty complicated uh, just to look at the front panel and figure out which way to turn the knobs. So it, uh, <laughs>